Yo, try polar bear. We're going to talk about apex sentinels today, specifically the quantity apex sentinels and whether or not you should use them for your expedition farming, right? During your log books, when you find the bosses and whatnot, right? Because on these apex sentinels, I have a low roll, but you can get up to 650 increased quantity of items found. Doesn't that sound crazy? On the expedition bosses, when you find them in logbooks, they drop the reroll currency. Imagine how much reroll currency you can get, right? And if you look at our tree, I have the Apex Sentinel grant increased rewards, whatever. That's for whatever random one it gives. Uh, this is really just so it doesn't empower your rare enemies that might spawn during the uh, boss encounter. Uh, it's going to give them extra empowerment, you know, all of this stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, dude, I can't wait for the boss. Um, and so I bought two logbooks. I split both of them so I could have a nice even. We've got all the Apex stuff. I've got quantity. I split my logbooks. Uh, I rolled two logbooks. We got 80 quant on each. Uh, on one, I got 11 remnants and didn't use my sentinel. On the other, I got 11 remnants and did use my sentinel. If you don't know, the remnants, that thing where it has a upside and a downside, like an altar in your logbooks uh, that you put your little plunger over to explode. Uh, not the chests, but the remnants. Those those give 5% reroll currency quantity. So you want to stack as many of those as possible before you hit the boss, right? So that you get more and more and more. Now, obviously it makes it a lot more difficult, especially in power. And I was like, dude, oh my, I'm going to stack all these remnants. The boss is going to be so much more powerful. I added some whatever ones, right? It's not as many as I could, but 11 is what it worked with. And I try to get it done fast. Uh, and I got to the boss. I did the no sentinel and I got 18 exotic coinage. And I was like, okay, now, actually I got 17. I was like, okay, 17 exotic coins. That's pretty good they're like four four and a half c each that's not bad all right with no sentinel and then i did another 11 remnants 80 percent quantity i popped my sentinel the freaking thing took forever and I, since i added like fizz's extra chaos all right i died once okay i'll admit it uh it took forever it had so much more life so much beefier uh you know it was attacking so much faster much more difficult and i killed it i was so excited with an extra 520 percent quantity i got 17 exotic coinage again okay so very disappointed. I was like, all right, screw this. Uh, let's do a white logbook with zero remnants and no quantity. So that's what we have here. I did a white logbook, zero quantity, no remnants. Let's skip ahead to the Verana. All right, just to see what would happen. This is the one with the Sentinel, right? So this is the 500 something quantity. She's much beefier. It takes a lot longer. She's doing her little in a minute phase. So here it is the Sentinel on a white logbook with the 520 quantity all the empowerment taking much longer with no other remnants as well we get seven exotic coinage so guess what happens when i do the exact same logbook that i split i add no quant to it right it's a white logbook i take no remnants we kill the boss much 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 quicker this time much easier not so much damage in life and we get seven exotic coinages as well uh so tldr doesn't have to be long today right i'm not gonna drain this out uh <laughs> I don't think the Apex Sentinel is worth it. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is having other experience with this. It seemed like a cool interaction with the logbooks. I don't know if it's bugged. Uh, I don't know what's going on with it, um, but it probably just won't work with Expedition logbooks because that would be a little busted, right? An extra five, 600 quantity on your reroll currencies might be a little bit crazy. Uh, so it's interesting to see that that either wasn't an intended use, right? Where they very purposefully didn't make it work or that it's not working and that it should. Uh, something to keep in mind though, because it certainly doesn't work on the expedition boss. Now, maybe it works with the expedition monsters, whether or not it does, you should be just using your good reward sentinels anyway. The quantity ones, when I was using them in the logbook, it didn't really seem like they did much, uh, but at least with the good sentinel rewards, right? Currency, expedition, uh, sentinel rewards, whatever, you still get good stuff from your sentinels. So obviously you still wanna use them. Uh, the problem with doing this strategy with Apex Sentinels, and I wouldn't want anybody to do this, right, and get the same exact <laughs> crap that I did, which was nothing extra, is that not only is it slower, uh, but when you load into the zone with whatever Sentinel tree you had, at least this is what I encountered in my logbook, uh, I couldn't respec my tree. So if you do Apex Sentinels in your logbooks, if you don't buy logbooks that specifically say they have Verana in them, which are much more expensive and hard to obtain, uh, you're entering a random logbook. It's not going to have Verana in it every time. Your Sentinel tree. If I go in there, you can change it, but it doesn't 
change uh, what sentinels you can use, right? So I unspecced when I finally found a Verana, I unspecced out of my Pandemonium Sentinel, respect into Apex, uh, but it still let me use my Pandemonium. It did not let me use my Apex. So not only do you get screwed on not getting any extra stuff, you're also getting screwed by not being able to use your Pandemonium Sentinel during your logbooks and being forced to use a, you know, rinky dink Apex Sentinel. So TLDR, don't use it. Not worth it in logbooks. Anyways, catch you guys on the live stream, twitch.tv slash Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys there. Bye.